Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fire Emblem Fire Direct Emblem! podcast. Oh my god. I'm blown away by that direct. This will be a shorter podcast because it was a shorter direct. Yes. Uh, so there's not as much to talk about, but holy cow. We're just going to get our thoughts out. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> right. We, uh, if you don't know by now, and you might not because we haven't played any of them on the game show yet, we are both enormous Fire Emblem fans. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, let me start out by saying I went into this expecting it to be um, mostly talking about Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors. And then a little bit about the mobile as well. Mm-hmm. Or like half and half. I expected only those two. I thought maybe there could be like a little teaser or something else, but I didn't think they'd have a new Fire Emblem game in the works already. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, it'd be mostly Warriors. It'll, be, it'll just be a cool thing because they were like, oh, it'd be more than one game. All right, well, that'll be the mobile game. Like, that's all I expected going yeah, into this. Yeah, exactly. Lo and behold, we got very little of Warriors, but that's fine because we got a ton on the mobile game, which looks way better than I could ever imagine. And also... Two new Fire Emblem games, essentially. Yeah. One of them's a remake of a Japan-only game, so two new Fire Emblem games. Uh Uh-huh. One of which coming out in, what, three months? May. Yeah, well, like, whoa! Yeah. (laughs) Like, really soon! Uh, and the other one coming out next year on the Switch as another console Fire Emblem. I am blown away. It's mind-blowing. It is unbelievable. Um, Yeah, like, I said to you right before the Direct started... Best case scenario, new Fire Emblem game. Like, absolute, yeah. absolute best case scenario. And we, we've we got one confirmed for we've next year. We've got two confirmed. One for this... We've got three Fire Emblem games coming out this year. Yeah. That's a, that's more than... That's... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I could not be happy. Dude! <laughs> uh, well, okay. Oh. I guess let's start with... It's a good time to be a Fire Emblem fan. Oh boy, is and it? And it's a good time to get into Fire Emblem because of the mobile game. Like, it's a win-win on every account. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy it's getting the love it deserves. It it's... really does. For so long... I mean, I've been playing Fire Emblem since 2006, so not as long as you have, but... Mm-hmm. Still, like, for it to suddenly become such a major show-stopping franchise... Yeah. ...in Nintendo's catalog, it, it feels so well-deserved. It's been such a long time coming, and I'm so excited for it because... I love these games so much, and you yeah. can tell that they're like they're getting funded more because they're looking better and better with oh, each one. Oh yeah, I, I was happy enough when you know Awakening and Fates both came out. It's like, oh, I'm really happy. Like this is catching on. People are picking up the games. It's becoming <laughs> really popular and one of Nintendo's best franchises. And now it's just even more so. Yeah. Oh my God! It exploded today, it like exploded. an hour ago. It just exploded in 2017. Oh man, I oh I love the art style of the mobile game so much, and I wasn't expecting to. It's so good. I know. It's so cute, and they all have so much detail. I know, and it's like a legit Fire Emblem game with like a little twist. Yeah, so. it's, it's just like I imagine the story will be non-existent, but it'll just be like, all right, here, just go bat do a battle while you're sitting on the toilet or on the bus or whatever. Just do a Fire Emblem battle. Yeah. Level up your dudes, <laughs> and, and like just generate a new one. Like ah. Oh. No, exactly, and I don't know, like. It's just like a celebration of Fire Emblem more than it is a new game. Like, you got all these yeah. characters from ev- just every game. Yeah! Holy cow! It, <laughs> and they're all voice acted. Can voice acting! Talk for a moment about how insane it is that they've casted people to voice for all a mobile of game. the backlog of, like, all those Fire Emblem characters? Because that's a lot of characters. Like, how? That's like 40 characters per game. Like, how? I don't know. How did they put that much effort into a mobile game? Oh, man, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> yeah, well... For a mobile game... Probably ten dollars, like Mario Run, but that's a safe guess. That's not a, that's not too bad for what we're getting. Yeah, for Mario Run, I'm not super willing to fork that up, but for this, this is pretty big. Yeah, definitely. Um, so now that we've <laughs> just like gushed about it for almost five minutes, yeah, yeah. Do, do you want to start like go one at a time and go more in de- in depth? Sure. Let's start with the one we know least about: mm-hmm. Fire Emblem 2018 for the Nintendo Switch. Oh boy. Uh, by least, I mean nothing beyond what I just said. That's all we know about it. We know it's happening. Yeah. That's enough. Which isn't, yeah, it's pretty huge. <laughs> uh, I'm excited that it's on the Switch. I hope it's exclusive to the Switch, because everything else is getting ported to the 3DS, which is kind of shocking to me, personally. I'm surprised that they're announcing new 3DS games so quickly in the, like, during the time between the Switch's reveal and it releasing, which is, like, it's only a month and a half that they have to not announce 3DS games, and they've announced three of the, two of them already. Yeah. Very shocking, but whatever. Uh, I'll, of course, I'll pick them up anyway, because I love them. Of course. Yeah, they're not giving up on the 3DS. No, I'm surprised to see that. So, 
Yeah. Or, I, I'm, I'm surprised to see that already. Yeah. Like, after the Switch launched, I thought maybe they'll be like, and here's a bunch of new 3DS games. But, I, I mean, they're not trying to trick people, which is good, because mm-hmm. I figured they'd, like, be quiet about the 3DS until the Switch launches, and then be like, yeah, we're also still making 3DS games, but, yeah, hey, more power to us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the end. Um, yeah, so... Not that, I mean, I'm still getting a Switch on launch anyway, like, how could <laughs> I not? It, uh, Bomberman's back, but beyond that... Yeah, so obviously it's a whole year from now, but just the fact that we're getting uh, a, an entire, you know, Fire Emblem game almost, I guess it's every three-ish years. It's exactly every three years since Awakening, because it was 2012, 2015, That's, and 2018, right? I get, well, it's two years in Japan, because in Japan, Fates came out a year earlier. That's true. And maybe Awakening as well. I don't know. Either way, it's picked up. It's for, like, for us, it's it's been every three years in the last yeah. almost ten years, so... That's, yeah, what year was uh, Awakening? 2012, right? For okay, us? and I think... Yeah, I think you're right, and I think... Uh, what's it called? Shadow Dragon came out 10, 2010, the remake? Probably on that the was DS. A yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last remake. <laughs> well, there was one more that was Japan only. Right, that's right, there were two. Which I think was also the same one that is getting remade again. I think. No, no, I think the... Okay, one was Shadow Dragon. I think the other one that that was on the DS was another Marth one. Oh, okay. I think I, you know, so. I always assumed the second Fire Emblem game was another Marth one, so that makes more sense. It might be. I forget which is first, another Marth one or well, Alms game. Now we know Alms game is second. They said it was the second They game. said it was the second. It came out in 92. The first Fire Emblem came out in, ni- in, in 1990, so... Okay, yeah. So it's the second one. Yeah. That's... Wow. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, man. Good we... transition, by the way. Yeah, let's talk about that next. So... This is the news I'm, I think, the most excited for right now. It might be for me, too. I mean, obviously, New Fire Emblem 2018 is exciting enough. It's hard to say. But, but uh, this... this is soon, and for us here in the U.S., it's totally new. It's, yeah. So this is a game that, it's not It's not going to be exactly the game. It was inspired by Gaiden. But us here in the West, we're going to get to know these characters. And we're going to, it's a remake of Fire Emblem, and that's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's a remake of a Japan-only Fire Emblem. Yeah. Oh my god, the art looks amazing. They look gorgeous. I, oh, yeah. I love the artists that they have on the Fire Emblem franchise. Bravo! You have done a nonstop phenomenal job since you came on for Awakening. Seriously. Because if you look at the art for the Shadow Dragon remake, it's not great. Like, if you look mm. at the character busts, they are this weird semi-3D, yeah, I emotionless, that. like... Yeah, Ooh. like they don't have faces, they're kind of just figures. I know what you mean. No, I was even talking about the uh, conversation sprites, but... The the in, the in battle sprites, right? Both. I was talking about the... Uh, I mean, I don't remember the battle sprites too well, but just like when they're talking, Marth just kind of stands there stiff, and it looks like he's sort of rendered in 3D. Oh, you are talking about the conversation. I am. The art style that they've taken since, like, from Awakening onward is so perfect for the franchise, and I cannot get enough of it. I, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Even even when, this is just a weird example, but even when that guy who, or one of the guys who does the art for, did the art for Awakening, when that became a Smash Bros. poster when Robin and Lucina yeah. came into And then Smash, again with Corrin. And then again with Corrin, and he did the poster for that, I'm like, that's the Awakening thing! Yeah! Like, that and like, great. The, the way that they're animated, the cutscenes, which we saw like snippets of mm-hmm. for the new one, what's it called? Uh, the... The, the new remake. The new remake, it is called Echoes. Fire Emblem Echoes. Great name for a remake, yeah, by the way. Absolutely. The snippets of cutscenes we saw. Like, I love that animation studio that did, like, Court, uh, Robin, and Lucina's trailer for Smash. Like, mm-hmm. that, it looks so great. They're still doing it. Oh. Yeah. And for the mobile game, they have new art for every Fire Emblem character. <laughs> yeah. That's. I can't wrap my head. It's like Pokemon. You, there's so many of them. <laughs> Seriously, and I'm I'm really glad they spent like a whole like three or, I felt like almost three or four minutes they spent on like the backstory to this remake, and it was just so cool like like they went through yeah. the effort to not just be like this is a new like a new yeah, version we, of a remake we got that's the coming story. out. We have the story. Let's do it. They I'm, gave us I'm so, so much ready detail. To jump in. They gave us so much detail about it. Um, yeah. So I guess more specifically about the app now. I Heroes. am not into mobile gaming, and I am so overwhelmingly excited for this app. <laughs> Me too. We both already voted for our first character. <laughs> and hey, here's a PSA for all of you. 
Uh, they are doing a thing. If you haven't seen the direct, it'll explain it better. But you get to vote for a character for it. And that character, whoever, which, whichever male and female character each gets the most votes, for the app will have like a special costume in the app. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to vote once per day, every day, for like 13 days. Yeah, that's what it so, says on the website anyway. <laughs> get, get to that, because you could vote a lot. It's not, You don't have to commit to one character across the franchise. You get to, pr- I think, like one... You could you could do one character per game, I think. Although you could also do thirteen characters from the same game. Thirteen, are there thirteen Fireblooms? There might be. I, no, I think Awakening was fourteen. Okay, so there's more. That's great. There's more. <laughs> Still though. But um, yeah, that's so cool. Or Fates was fourteen. So now know. till the end of January, get get vote get voting, folks. That's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it's that's so soon too. Like. Yeah, Holy cow, that's, it's February 2nd. That's February 2nd. That's, that's very soon. That's really soon. That's going to be like the next game I pick up. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And that's yeah. weird because it's a mobile game. I love the art of it. I love the art of it so much it scares me. The maps look <laughs> ado- I, like it reminds me of the RPG Maker. Like the really good RPG Maker. Yeah, stuff. yeah. It looks like that. And I'm. Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe Nintendo should just do. And phone apps forever. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, only that. I'm saying, like, they're good at it, clearly. I mean, yes. I wouldn't mind them... Of course I'm not saying only that. <laughs> yeah. My God, no. Just put a switch in my hands already. Um, uh, I wouldn't mind that, although I would like this more if it were not a mobile game. Like, I would love for this exact game to just be a cheap Fire Emblem spinoff on the 3DS or Switch. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it works well for mobile, for the certain features it has. It does. I just wish they didn't have to do mobile, because I despise mobile gaming so much. <laughs> yeah, the, the in-app purchase stuff is not great for <laughs> any app, but... Yeah. But whatever. Um, I, I tend to, you know, at least with free apps, I tend to just, you know, when, when I'm interested in a free app, I download it, I play it, and then I just, like... Don't buy anything. Like no matter yeah, oh yes, how much I might want something. Pokemon Go, for example. Pokemon Go. It's it's you know it's hard sometimes, but just gotta <laughs> say no. At least that's the code I live by with mobile games. It's a smart code. Um. Wow. Yeah, and this is like the most excited I've ever been for a mobile game. So that's same here. Awesome. More so for than Pokemon Go for me. Oh yeah. Which looking back, yeah, of course, Pokemon <laughs> Go had a lot of issues, but like before Pokemon Go came out, it was super exciting. And when it first came out, it was ridiculously exciting. Definitely. Like, at that time, that was the most excited I've ever been for an app. Mm -hmm. And all this time, you know, we've known for a while that a Fire Emblem app was in the the works. Next up is uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's right. We were like, what could they do with Fire Emblem? I I would have thought they might have just done a small dating sim. (laughs) Maybe, yeah. Like, legitimately. (laughs) I was like, maybe that's what they're going to go with, the draw people in. (laughs) But no, they've made a a bite-sized Fire Emblem, and I'm excited for it. it. Yeah. Featuring every character with voice acting just, and new art. Just everyone. That's great. The gang's all there. Yeah. I, I love just the beginning of the trailer where they showed some new characters and then, like, Xander and Lucina, like, just chilling in the same yeah. room. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's and then so they cool. threw out a Pokeball and Crom came out. It was so cool. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> uh, just really good stuff coming from Nintendo. Um, uh, no pun intended. Fire Emblem is on fire right now. They are. A little bit of a pun intended. This is, like, the best time to be a Fire Emblem fan. Yeah. Holy cow. It's getting so much attention, and I'm super okay with that. We're definitely going to be playing Fire Emblems on the show, especially these new ones. Oh, my God. When Fire Emblem 2018 comes out, oh. we've got to play that game as soon as possible. We're going to be show, all over we that. can actually record off of that. We can't really record off of 3DS. But No, yeah, we can't, oh unfortunately. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. What, uh, do you have anything else you want to mention? Um, we talked about the remake. We talked about Fire Emblem 2018. We talked about that. Uh, oh, we didn't talk about Warriors. Warriors, yeah. So they didn't show a lot. They didn't show a lot. And that's a little surprise. I mean, I would say it's a little disappointing if not for the fact that we just got better news all around. Yeah. Because I was not... I mean, I love Hyrule Warriors as a concept. I, I'm not a big fan of the gameplay. I played through story mode. I did beat the game. Yeah. But I didn't like do all the collectible stuff. It, it just wasn't for me. I could see why people would get really addicted to it, though. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad Fire Emblem Warriors was something I had my fingers crossed would exist. And it does. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. For me, it's it's... You know, I agree with what you said about the gameplay of Hyrule Warriors. It's not my type of game, but 
I got it and just love it because it's just the lore all in one game. It's yeah. like, oh, this is good. It, it's like a personalized Smash Brothers for the series. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, without what makes Smash Brothers so fun, but uh, which is the gameplay. But I, I cannot wait to see what other characters get in. Me and James each made a bingo board before the direct <laughs> yep. guessing characters, and we each forgot a pretty obvious one. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. There, um, there are so many. <laughs> there's a lot of characters in Fire Emblem. There is so many. Spoiler alert, there is a couple of them. There's quite a few. More than ten. I could, I could name ten off the top of my hand. And they, I could probably name ten, but that'll start with the same letter. But right now... Uh, wow. It's just super exciting. It's... I couldn't, I couldn't be happier that... Fire Emblem is my favorite franchise. Literally my favorite franchise is getting all the love it deserves. Yeah. I'm so happy. It's... It's becoming like Final Fantasy. It's like getting to like it's. Yeah. I'm not about to compare Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy. It's not even a close competition right now. But like it's Nintendo's treating it more like it's Fire Final Fantasy. Yeah, the yeah. way Final Fantasy got apps with all the characters just in them. They have a lot in common. And they do. They each have a new world with a ton of char- new characters every each time. Each game is a new world. Yeah. Exactly. With a, yeah. like a sequel or two sprinkled in here. Yeah. I I'm so excited. So yeah. Any any final thoughts? Um, for Warriors, I'm surprised it's coming to the 3DS. I think I mentioned that already. So Mm -hmm. let me just say, I am blown away by this Direct. One of the best Directs I've watched from Nintendo in a long time. Yeah, same. Uh, maybe the best one I've ever seen, just because of, like, we, it was just for Fire Emblem, know that going in, and they still blew my expectations out of the water again and again, just hitting it over and over again. Yeah, I'm super excited. Same. All right. Yeah. That thank sounds you. like the end of a podcast to me. It does. So thank you guys for listening. And uh, next time on Sky Jam, I don't know what our next podcast is going to be. Yeah, who knows? We'll see. Maybe Nintendo will release another Direct in another week from now. We'll find <laughs> yeah, out. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't played Fire Emblem yet, now is the perfect time to get into it. Oh my god, it's such they a good franchise. So good. Oh, but blah, we could gush about Fire Emblem all day. Seriously. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, We'll do that on our own time. (laughs) We'll see you later, everybody. We love you. Bye.